All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine and Pipeliner CRM. Joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Wally Wright, who is just up the road here in Los Angeles. How are you doing, Wally? Doing fine. Uh, happy New Year. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you too. And, you. and Wally is from Spectrum Link. And what we're going to talk about today is this interesting idea of earning passive income from an investment that perhaps wouldn't uh, jump top of mind to a lot of people. And that is in 5G towers. So, um, Wally, let's get straight into it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a lot of different <laughs> passive income opportunities out there. Um, I've talked to people, obviously, real estate. Um, mm -hmm. storage facilities, which some people may not know about. Mm -hmm. 5G network towers is certainly something that perhaps a lot of people don't know about. So maybe explain the opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for having us here, John. We're excited of sharing you know, for a few moments on who we are. We are Spectrum Link. Uh, we've been around uh, over eight years now. We're a, we're a WISP or a wireless internet service provider. And um, we provide Wi-Fi and internet for businesses all over the country. Uh, certainly because of COVID, we've kind of segued into the, um, the essential businesses, not her, uh, hospitals, nursing homes, et cetera, mm -hmm. government buildings. But, but yes, um, it's just like when cell phones came out in, back in the early 80s. It's like lightning striking twice. But we've been actually selling, um, they used to be kind of 4G towers up to this, this year, up to customers or partners or investors. And um, we sell the towers for $35,000. It's a purchase and a lease uh, for the next seven years. We take that tower and we place it on one of our uh, office buildings, for example, in New York City, um, Carnegie Hall, Carnegie Center. Right. And um, we place it on that building within 30 to 90 days and we already have um, end users inside the building. And once it's installed, um, it provides income. And we've been doing this for eight years. It's been amazing uh, business for us. In, and I say this with the utmost sensitivity, it's, it's uh, we're overwhelmed right now, uh, especially wow. with the essential part of the business. But uh, now in 2021, we're now into the 5G. Yeah. Okay. So, so explain to you a little bit um, how, how this works. Okay. So you said like you can buy a tower, you put it on one of your buildings and then how mm -hmm. does it generate income? Really simple. So for the sake of discussion, this uh, let's, for example, one of our new buildings in New York City, Carnegie Hall Center, yeah. 230 Park Avenue. A client or an investor would buy a tower. It's, it's, a, it's all turnkey. It's a purchase and a lease. We do all the heavy lifting. We, we own the network. They own the asset. We'll take that tower. We'll install it in a matter of a, about a month or two or three months on that building, uh, number one. Number two, our call centers automatically go inside that building, John, and we start signing up businesses, law firm, accounting firm, et cetera, for Wi-Fi on our network, mm -hmm. just like Verizon or Sprint. Sure. And once it's installed, just like people pay their bills every month, it provides income. And we start, we start off at about 10% um, annually, but we have a mechanism, John, that um, each year can go from a quarter to a point a year because we keep adding more and users, what I'll call centers to the frequency. And yes, it is every single month, it's passive income. This comes right to your checking or savings account with on an ACH with JP Morgan Chase. And uh, mm -hmm. I'd be remiss if I didn't say this also, we're, um, we're also IRA approved for self-directed IRAs too. Yeah, that, that's interesting. We'll come back to that in a moment. But um, so what mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, so what can, um, what are some examples of the kind of income that people can earn on a monthly basis? What have you seen? Really conservative. Um, we always like to really under promise and over deliver, but let's say a tower for 35,000, um, you're looking at um, $350 a month. It's just passive income. We like to call it mailbox money. Um, mm -hmm. Actually making money too, but we do all the heavy lifting, insurance, et cetera, maintenance, et cetera. But it's every single month. It comes directly every month. And also too, um, it's important to understand only 25% capacity is needed on that tower. So you really have another 75% more capacity. So what it normally happens within a few months or even within six months or a year, the telecoms, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint will come on and want to piggyback and lease space. So that income does increase, but we do start at the 10% and it's just, you just do the math. It's, it's monthly income uh, every single month. 
and we have a guaranteed buyback on the equipment too. And I'll, I'll explain right. That. And when you and when you said lease uh, or purchase to lease, um, explain to me: are are you asking people to pay thirty five thousand up front or over mm -hmm. time, or how does that work? Yeah, it's a, it's a one time payment for thirty five thousand, and most people, you know, coming from multiple towers, mm -hmm. but it's five thousand. Uh, it includes everything. We we get an FCC license in Washington. That's good for 10 years. We do all the maintenance, insurance, et cetera. For example, if there was a, because we're in Florida too, if there was a hurricane or an earthquake out here or whatever it was, any natural disaster, they're, they're not responsible for anything. It's our job running and, and make sure it's always maintained. Um, but yes, um, that's certainly how it works. And then you said uh, that you're qualified now for retirement accounts. Can you just explain that as well? I can. I can. Before we started, John, actually um, uh, talking to potential investors for towers for this kind of passive income, we wanted to make sure we, we, we could pass the mustard. So we do um, um, custodians, everyone from, from Wells Fargo to Merrill Lynch to Morgan Stanley to, um, to IRA resources, just custodians itself. So um, they reviewed our paperwork, our lease, and our, our buyback. And uh, yes, if you have a self-directed IRA or self-directed 401k plan that's not really performing, uh, you're able to use that. We have a, a, a number of custodians we use um, that are excellent. And it's really kind of a seamless. It's really just paperwork. But that monthly income, John, would not come to them personally. It'd go back to the custodian every month. Right, right, absolutely. Um, so then, why should why should somebody look at like a service like yours as opposed to others? Well, we we like to think we're better, we're faster, we're more efficient. Um, we use microwave technology, line of sight. Um, a lot of the the big telecoms are they're big, but um, a lot of them for years have been you know with cables underground and everything. Mm -hmm. Line of sight now, laser fast. Um, we're working with um, a beta test with Facebook. Uh, we're, in, we're, we're in acquisitions with other companies like ours with uh, cell phone connections with T-Mobile, Ericsson, Verizon, uh, just here in the local area. So, you know, we like to think we have a nice footprint. The tower part of our business, John, has been organically, it's been amazing. And right. yes, it, it's, just a, um, it's just an opportunity to uh, make an investment and really just we do all the heavy lifting and we provide a nice passive income. I do want to say that it's important each year because we keep adding more end uses to the frequency mm -hmm. call centers. The equipment, John, actually appreciates about 5% a year. So okay. in payment terms, let's say in the end of seven years, they wanted to sell your tower. We're going to buy that tower back at $47,500. Um, right. Paid for because it's more valuable and, um, and we can keep it for ourselves or they can... Um, keep it going on for a few more years because every building we have, we have a 10-year lease agreement to do the internet. For. Right. Um, so just um, in general terms, though, uh, for people who who have heard about 5G and they know it's kind of rolling out, what is the state of 5G today? And what, and how much of a, uh, as much as you can look into the future, mm -hmm. how, how long do you think 5G will be the one that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, or we'll move on to something else? Good question. We, we it, usually, obviously, technology, and, and I am not a, uh, a I'm not a uh, um, an engineer, a PhD, mm -hmm. sure. Um, but I do. I've been around this over 35 years. But basically, technology changes in pretty big leaps uh, every 10 years. Even though we know technology changes pretty much daily, to say the least. Mm -hmm. But we we've, we've gone from uh, uh, I think 79, 89 to 2G. Then we we segue 10 years later into 3G, and then we went into, and we we literally just yeah. left 4G. So for the 5G market, um, personally, I think we're probably within a seven to 10 year window. Uh, will it morph into something a little faster? Yes, uh, we're we're always way ahead of the curve in what we do, and I think eventually we could be doing satellites um, right. down the road. So you know that's always to be expected. So um, we. We're always forward thinking about what's going on over the next 10, 15 years. It is a uh, $17 trillion market over the next 15 years. So we like to think we have a, a nice space, a nice footprint in what we do. And um, like I said, we have organic. How, yeah. How fast is 5G now being deployed across the states? Well, it, it's, 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 if you watch 
television. It's it's pretty much everywhere. And you really started seeing the commercials at the Super Bowl mm -hmm. uh, last year, right. uh, really in, in February. So they are rolling it out um, as quickly as possible. Um, and eventually, we're going to go into the rural areas, too, because there's a great need for better Wi-Fi in even smaller rural areas. So we really focus on the cities. We've done Los Angeles, uh, finishing New York City. We're in Florida, Dallas, and Houston. And um, we're actually going to other markets, even in Hawaii and Kauai and Maui and Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And will 5G, I uh, just mentioned the rural markets there, will, will 5G be something that really helps to bring the rural or less served areas into, you know, will be able to provide them with, with um, access comparable to their city slicker neighbors? Yeah, I, I do. I do. Right now, we're actually in talks with, um, for example, um, it's a, um, an Indian reservation in Oklahoma, and mm -hmm. um, they're in a rural area. They're not like in Oklahoma City. They're in a kind of a rural area. So uh, we are looking to eventually deploy in those areas to, because um, everybody wants faster Wi-Fi and internet. And what we're seeing, doesn't matter if you're in a rural area or you're in Los Angeles, um, a lot of people are working remotely from home now yeah. um, because of COVID. And they just, they need what they need. So have it be in a small rural town or a big city of Los Angeles. But But yes, eventually we'll, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. And um, it's fast, reliable service that's that's very efficient. And what are the what are the speeds right now on, on Spectrum Link? Well, let me see. Um, without misspeaking, we probably uh, from anywhere from 10 to 100 uh, gigabytes that we do. It's, it's laser fast. It really right. is. And again, everything is microwave line of sight technology. Nothing's underground. Um, we do a POS, point of presence. Mm -hmm. So it's fast, very, very fast. Yeah, and, um, and so if, you, um, if somebody was weighing up uh, to you saying, okay, I'm thinking about uh, some passive income choices. And like I said before, like mm -hmm. I've talked to some people. So if somebody was saying, well, I was thinking about storage facilities or mm -hmm. maybe buying into some rental properties mm -hmm. or this, why would you say that this is actually a, a better way to go? Well, I always, there's a, there's a lot of wonderful investments out there and mm -hmm. to go with, with what feels good for you, what's, what's, what you're comfortable with. What I love about what we do is, um, yes, it is passive. We call it mailbox money. But when we say turnkey, John, we really mean turnkey. Um, you're buying the equipment, you own the asset, and we do all the heavy lifting, uh, right. everything uh, from licensing, installments, maintenance, insurance, et cetera, uh, payments. We do everything. And um, it's just, it's a lot of our customers are different ages, but we got a lot of people that are kind of retired because they just, they've kind of done other investments uh, and they still do well, but they like the opportunity that they know it's the internet. It's not going anywhere. The world's gotten a lot mm -hmm. smaller. And they like getting that passive income every single month. And also too, there's a tax law that came out um, folks can Google this, it's section 179, and um, it allows you, as of January 1st, 2018, to be able to write off up to a million dollars a year in equipment. You don't need that much because the tower is only 35,000, sure. but you get to use that, and we provide all that for you every year in a 1099, so it's, it's, it's really... Um, Pretty amazing. Yeah, that, that's interesting. So, so people can actually write off the, the, the physical infrastructure. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, that's... and they just talk to talk to their local CPA, their their account. Mm -hmm. They law. It became a law January first of two thousand eighteen. Right. Um. What, what excites? Um. Obviously, you've been in the business a long time. What excites you most about five G? Well, you know, I'm kind of old. School. I, I've been around for a little bit. I remember the old uh, back in nineteen uh, seventy nine and and through eighty nine, and I remember just sitting in your computer, everything was just slow and dial up, but you know, that's all we had. And you thought it was the latest and greatest. What I love about it is that it's just, it connects people. Uh, it's the world we live in. Uh, we're getting calls from even from Dubai to do some Wi-Fi in some of the building structures. But what I like about it is that we just provide an excellent service, great customer service, um, great work and at lightning speeds. And it just provides, you know, just, like I said, everyone is working remotely from home and, you know, they just want 
the best that they can get. So we, we like to think apply that. And this is where, you know, 5G, this is where, where Wi-Fi really starts to become even more effective than wired um, internet access, right? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just a, a real perfect example. Uh, there's a community uh, here, it's in Chatsworth, and very well field community, and they needed Wi-Fi and internet for their homes. Um, the homes are 5,000 to 10,000 square feet, but they just have the worst Wi-Fi and internet. And lo and behold, we're, we're building out the community right now. It's, uh, they were on old DHL dial-up. It was just right. atrocious, but uh, we're now doing it. And you know, imagine having a $5 million home or very expensive home and having to stand in the corner to use your phone. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. But, uh, so this but yes. Yeah, and uh, and uh, just just out of interest, so um, as you said, I mean, you go around, you put these on 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 buildings. Um, how do you select where you put them? Well, for example, we look at multi-tenant buildings, um, uh, office buildings. They they range from you know fifteen stories, twenty stories, thirty stories. It could be four or five stories. Um, we're pretty aggressive. Um, you know, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of buildings. For example, in, in downtown Los Angeles, um, just on Los Angeles Street, the, the whole fashion mart. Uh, mm -hmm. We have buildings on Los Angeles Street that we do the Wi-Fi and internet. And um, we locate them, we find them, um, and we speak the building owners. Um, and then we go inside that building with our, our uh, boots on the ground, our call centers, our prints, our radio, whatever, and, and really offer what we do. And um, word of mouth has been amazing. So, you know, we've literally gone from, here in Los Angeles to Manhattan to Florida, so and now Hawaii. So, you know, we um, we're not going to control the whole market or anything like that. Sure. We're not an agency of Verizon, but we like to think we have a nice, nice footprint in what we do. Our service is amazing, and we're getting calls from a lot of essential businesses around the country that they want our service because they heard it's very, very good and, and very cost effective too. Yeah, no, it's a, it's fascinating, and I think great for our audience to uh, mm -hmm. to hear about another passive uh, income investment opportunity. As mm -hmm. I said, uh, you know, sometimes people don't realize that these type of opportunities are out there. So I really appreciate you talking about this appreciate today. It. So, what is the best way? We'll put all of your information and Spectrum Links information below this video. But what is the best way for people to find out more about uh, this opportunity? Really, really simple. Number one, um, uh, you can email us uh, to at info at spectrumlink.net, number one, uh, spectrumlink.net, or my assistant, Bob, at spectrumlink.net. Uh, our website, obviously, is www.spectrumlink.net, but I'm going to give you my, the, my direct number, my mobile number, and also the, the toll-free number. The toll-free number is 800 9836150 my direct number is 8188356147 and my mobile if i'm at a location or traveling is 747 uh, 2599162 um you can always reach us uh if anything we just like to get information in your hands just to yeah. uh just to tell you what we do so it gives you an opportunity to see everything up close and personal and it's our pleasure to email some information to you yeah, listen, thanks very much, Molly, for, for talking to us about this. I would encourage people to check it out. You know, if you're in the market for some new investments, you want to diversify your portfolio, you think that maybe the stock market, it's okay having some of your money in there, but the volatility, maybe you want to offset a little bit of volatility there. Um, or like I said, you just want to, you want to some passive income or you want to diversify your portfolio, whatever it is. I would encourage you to go check out all of these I guess what I would call these alternative investment uh, investments that uh, maybe you know doesn't spring to mind immediately, but it could be a fantastic fit for for you. So again, um, thanks Wally for joining us today. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks. my name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine, Pipeliner, CRM. I will see you all for another expert interview really soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.